We are creatures of habit. It is really kind of amazing how much we do something that's just bad because we're just too lazy to do something new. I know I'm guilty of it, and I've been guilty of it as you guys have seen me use VLC Media Player. It doesn't matter if you're on Linux or Windows, a lot of us use VLC because it's just what we know. And once upon a time, it was a fantastic piece of software when it came out and it could just play anything without having to download codecs and all that other jazz. Oh, it was so nice. But VLC these days is just hot garbage. And I mean that in every respect. It, it, whether you're on Windows or Linux, on Linux, heck, a lot of times it doesn't shut down properly and gets jammed up. On Windows, it's constantly prompting, hey, download a new version, or hey, go here, download metadata, whatever it might be, it's just annoying. It's not a good piece of software anymore. It's just cumbersome, big, and there's better alternatives. So with that, let's explore those alternatives in this video. I do live stream every Monday and Friday, so if you have a question for me, be sure and stop into my Twitch channel and ask me live. And if you'd like to check out these streams after the fact, you can always head over to Chris Titus Tech Streams and check out my entire archive over there. So the first alternative right here is celluloid, and this is uh, for Linux users, so uh, I'll have for Windows users coming up after this one. Uh, but Celluloid is a front end for MPV. If you're not familiar with MPV, it's like a command line uh, launcher for vi video. Fantastic. It works great, but it is command line. Uh, where Celluloid is more of a drop-in replacement for VLC, and it just works great. So, like, if I have something, I come over here, I hit my videos, and I go, all right, let's, uh, let's play something. It plays this, bam. You know, I don't know what I'm doing in this video, but let's not play any further. Oh. <laughs> but anyways, it's very, very easy to, to operate. There's nothing too bad here. You got your keyboard shortcuts, shows you how to open files, toggle controls, toggle full screen mode, do on-screen display with OSD. You have cycling video tracks, decreasing the pan scan range, screenshots, brightness, saturation, have pretty much everything you could want in a player in just a simplistic manner. Most of us aren't super power users and a lot of the features that got added to VLC is just not something that we care about. Where in uh, this right here, celluloid, we could do pretty much everything I was using in, uh, you know, VLC for. Uh, you could increase, decrease playback speed and you can do it all on the fly just using all of these hotkeys. So once you get accustomed to it, it's really, really nice. I, I love the fact that it's very simplistic. You have the help, you have your, your just the keyboard shortcuts from there. You have just toggle the controls down here. So once you use your keyboard shortcuts enough, you can actually get rid of the controls. You can do a playlist. And literally, that's about it. You know, if there's multiple video tracks or multiple audio tracks, you can, you can select those in here and play regular DVDs and things if you still have a disk drive. But that's it. Simplistic, easy, and perfect. This is fantastic. So that is the my media player of choice when it comes to Linux. But when it comes to Windows, obviously, uh, VLC is still in that same camp. There's, it's not much better in Windows, even though I've used it for so long. So I like to use what's called MPC-HC. This is an open source media player for Windows. Uh, if you remember the media, media player classic, that's what it gets the MPC acronym from. And it's completely all around a great player, very lightweight, customizable, has all the features you could possibly want that VLC has, but it's, it's extremely lightweight. And furthermore, it's completely open source, no extra shenanigans with it, so to speak. Uh, so just come here, hit download now and go. Um, it hasn't been updated in a couple years now, but it's still a fantastic option. Something that I recommend if you're on Windows instead of downloading VLC, I would recommend Media Player Classic. I think this is a great one and it's completely open source. So uh, I'm gonna just pull up their GitHub page just to show when the last commits were. But you see it is a little dated three years uh, ago, but at the same time, it still holds up today. Do you really want your media player updating every single month or two? For me, I really kind of dig the old school feel of Media Player Classic and the simplicity of it. 
Um, and when I'm on Linux, I'm using celluloid. So with all that, did I miss anything? Is there some software that you're like, hey, Titus, this is better than both of those? Let me know in the comments, because that's where I learn a lot of these. Most of these were actually someone commenting and saying, hey, you should definitely use that instead of VLC. I can't believe someone's still using it. I'm like, well, I know I'm not alone. <laughs> I know there's a lot of other creatures of habit out there still using VLC. So try these. I've switched these and it has made my life a lot easier as I do a lot of video stuff. And with that, a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.